Hey guys, welcome back to The Rich Equation. I am really excited to talk about this concept of changing my mind today. And this is gonna be a short little clip, I, but I just thought I'd jump on here and share some of my thoughts because I think that there is a strong disposition against people who change their mind. And in today's world, we're not allowed to change our mind. We're not allowed to pivot. We're not allowed to have a different opinion. Once we say something, we have to stick to it. Whether that's in business, whether that's in politics, whether that's having, we just generally can't have different opinions from what we've already had an opinion about. And I think that's complete bullshit. So I really want to give us permission to talk about this pretty openly today. I'd love your feedback. I'd love your comments. But, you know, in today's environment, especially with technology, we are exposed to so much information. We don't often know what is true. We, there's a lot of propaganda out there. There's a lot of in, different information, contra contradicting data. And yet, we are expected to have these strong opinions that we're never allowed to change. Whether that's in politics, whether that's in your business strategy, whether that's about people, whether it's about how you think about life or the world. I think that the responsibility of leaders today is to be self-aware and to think about our thinking. And that requires us to consume new information often and frequently to be able to reassess the decisions that we're making about everything in our life. And that means that we're going to change our thinks. We're going we're gonna to change our thinking. We're going to change what we think about. We're going to change our decisions. And that's okay. And I think that this, this expectation that we're not allowed to change our mind. Oh, you said this last week. Now you're saying this. You, you told us to go down this direction. Now you're changing this direction. Well, look, there is a time and a place to not constantly keep changing business strategy because it's very disruptive and you can't change your business strategy every week. That's not what I'm proposing. But what I am proposing is that having free flowing conversations and discussions with people where you're allowed to change your mind because of the new information that you have. As we evolve as humans, our ability to think and our ability to learn how to think evolves. And so by nature, how is it that we can't change our minds? If we are constantly learning and evolving, and let's assume that for now, that you are focused on evolving and changing constantly, your neural pathways are going to change. The way you process information is going to change. The connections in your brain are going to change. Therefore, how you solve problems, what you thought before, how you see the world, all the connections that your subconscious is making is going to change and evolve. And that's going to manifest in new opinions and new ideas and new directions. And we have to allow ourselves and allow people around us to do that. You have to allow yourself to do that and you have to allow people around you to do that. And if you don't, you're doing everyone a disservice. You're doing the planet a disservice, your teams a disservice, human evolution a disservice. So I really wanted to encourage and explore this idea with you guys. It's super, super important to feel free in this. I think there's an expectation that we're not allowed to change our mind, have an opinion, bring up new suggestions to our boss, our investors, our shareholders, and it's baloney. You on the other side of that transaction, if you're listening, it's baloney. If somebody comes to you with new ideas, new information, hopefully they're they are processing new information, not just constantly changing their mind, but I think it's super important to create this openness. We have to think about our thinking. We have to be smarter about what is it that we're processing, what information are we taking in, what assumptions and expectations am I putting on myself and others as I make decisions? Am I attached to outcome or am I attached to the process? Just ask yourself questions to explore the thinking that you're going through. 
but do not be shy to change your mind. There is nothing that could potentially be worse than saying, well, this is how we've always done it. This is the only way to do it. So just encourage everyone to really think through that. There's nothing wrong with changing your mind. I hope you guys are doing well. If you enjoy this podcast, please subscribe to the podcast and download this podcast. The cost of listening is to share it with somebody who may get benefit from it. We're also launching a community in the podcast soon. So if you enjoy this content and want to be part of a community of leaders that are trying to grow in all aspects of their life, please subscribe. Please join us and continue to listen. We'll be launching this soon in the next couple months. And follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to the podcast on YouTube. We're trying to grow there as well. Hope you guys are doing well. And remember to live your richest life possible and bloody change your mind. See you later, guys. Take care. Bye.